school guy, I would be willing to bet that the high school guy probably think he's the drummer for the Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> and let's go up a little bit to the Gen Xers. The Gen Xers probably think they have Bob Marley on their shirt. And then my generation, let us take off that cap, let us take off the mushroom, we think he's Jim Morrison of the Doors. You see? And these are not the people that we are here to bash. You know, they, they, they don't know. They really don't know. It, it, it's a fairly good-looking picture. This individual here, you know, it dawned on me, folks. It dawned on me just in a way here that perhaps we tricked you into coming here. And I'll apologize in advance. It, it, perhaps we got you here with false advertising. Because it is entirely possible that what I have written here is an inspirational book. And it is entirely possible that what I will be giving tonight is a motivational talk. Why do I say that? Because it dawned on me that if a sadist, a coward, and an epic idiot like this guy can become the most reproduced picture of the century, Folks, there is hope for all of us. You know, there really is. It is an astounding feat of publicity to get this guy where he did. But he did have the magnificent fortune of linking up with the man I consider to be the 20th century's top publicity agent, Fidel Castro. No one else has had the mainstream media, not just in the United States, but all over the world, eating out of his hand like trained pigeons for the last half century. It defies description, folks. It defies description. How he could get away with it. And it makes no sense. But I will tell you, all of the things that you will hear tonight from me, and by the way, everything that you will hear tonight from me is fully documented in this book. Feel free to ram it down your kid's throat, your neighbor's throat, your college professor's throat, anybody. It is fully, not only fully documented, but it passed muster with the legal department of the second biggest publisher on earth. Every morning, I'm going to talk a little shop just to give you an idea of how bulletproof this book is. Every morning there is a conference call with these people. I mean, we're talking hot shot New York lawyers. Where the heck is it? Where do you get this stuff from, Mondo? Where did this come from? That is an interview with the man who tracked down and captured Che in Bolivia. Oh, well, how about that? How about that? That is an interview who was an ally of Che in the Sierra Maestra and later he Well, how about this? This comes from the Spanish The Point is, everything here is fully documented. It is completely bulletproof. You know, and, and, and not just so they can't say, well, that's those crazy Cubans down in Miami who are always saying this kind of stuff. You can't believe those crazy Cubans for some crazy reason. Uh, you know, it, it makes no sense. For some reason, we consider Eli Wiesel a good source of information on the Holocaust. We consider Alexander Solzhenitsyn a proper source on the Gulag Archipelago. archipelago and on Stalin's horrors, but when it comes to Castro, Cuba, Che, heaven forbid that it should be someone who actually experienced the horrors to try to bring them to light. Ah, well that's all those crazy Cubans. See the idea of how funny this is. The two most authoritative and scholarly, considered scholarly, oh, they got rave reviews from the London Times. From the New York Times, two screenplays are being based on Che Guevara's biography written by John Lee Anderson. That book, 800 pages long, remember, considered the most authoritative, scholarly, widely respected, was written with Anderson living in Cuba, with the main source for the book being Fidel Castro and Alaya Marsh was Che Guevara's widow. In other words, the propaganda ministry for a Stalinist regime was the primary source for the book considered authoritative on Che Guevara. Folks, you cannot make this stuff. 
as I say, compared to what Cuban Americans read in the press, see on television, see from Hollywood every day, what Alice Hound on the other side of the looking glass makes perfect sense. I am telling you, it is absolutely unbelievable. How, how, you, how can you get away with this? Let us say that Hitler had died. One of the plots against him had succeeded, and he had died in 1944. And the regime, somehow they, they cut a deal with the Allies. Well, and if somebody might see authoritative biography of Hitler using Joseph Goebbels and Hermann Goering as the primary sources, what same person would take that book seriously? But the exact same scenario that I just talked about regarding this guy is considered perfectly respectable and scholarly by the mainstream media and by every scholar in the world. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's just funny. And also, by the way, especially for the Cuban Americans in the audience, please, because I ran into trouble with this when I was in Miami recently. If you look at this book from afar, You just see Chase's face, right? And usually, when you see this face, you're seeing something praising the guy and heralding the guy. So it was interesting because just a few weeks ago, I was in Miami at something called Cuba Nostalgia, which is a huge fair, huge fair, and all the huge, the Cuban American community comes out and flocks to it. And lo and behold, my friend Ziva, who was here, was at the same booth with us, and we had a gigantic. Uh, mock-up of this same, about half the size of this. And so, I learned to read lips very well, very well during that weekend. Because you would see, <laughs> you would see the, the families, Cuban families tend to be close-knit and, and, and large, and you would see the whole family, the abuelitos, you know, the grandparents, some might be in a wheelchair on a walker, and then the second generation, and the grandkids, and so forth, and you see the abuelita, and the grandma, oh, and all of a sudden, I think I think most of them know what that means in Spanish. And then you'd see the the second generation, my generation, go, no, well, well, don't worry, it's an anti chebo So in other words, relative to the rest of the world, 